We are talking hidden treasures again. And I got uh, Phil Colucci here, the head treasure hunter over at Cartier Resources here. That's that ECR on the Toronto Venture Exchange is the call sign. And, uh, and Phil, I guess uh, kudos, uh, congratulations, uh, a positive PA, pretty big thing in this business. Why don't you, why don't you run through the highlights here for investors? Well, yes, indeed. Uh, listen, to the project, we've delivered four resource estimates in the recent past. We've got two drills uh, turning right now, so the resource keeps growing. Uh, but we felt it was time to put out a uh, preliminary economic assessment, a Polaroid, if you wish, uh, that this thing flies, right? And uh, it's got uh, it's got optionality it, because of the characteristics characteristics of the project, and as the drilling has indicated, it will continue to grow. But high level, uh, this thing is going to produce about one hundred and seventeen thousand ounces of gold for 10-year mine life uh the all-in sustaining costs are roughly 750 us and the uh, long-term gold price is roughly 1750 uh us so you've got a thousand dollars per every ounce so you're looking at a pretty nice uh cash flow running for 10 years uh, more than enough to pay off uh, the initial capital expenditures and all in sustaining costs. So again, we've got a nice little underground mine here uh, that's in the 110 to 120,000 ounces per year that is going to grow with time. And uh, we're hoping to demonstrate that for the rest of the year. Let's put this in a perspective for those uh, fellow treasure hunters that uh, treasure hunt with you, Phil. Uh, when you lay out these kind of numbers, um, the, not not for you to speculate on the share price, certainly, but but obviously speculators will. So, uh, what, what does this mean for those treasure hunters that are on board now? If this does come to fruition, let's focus on the word treasure here. Uh, treasures are buried. Treasures are things that are that already exist. The, the, the Chimo gold mine is a past producing gold mine. So, part of the treasure is it's got. It's got uh, demonstrated uh, metallurgical uh, behavior. It's got uh, demonstrated geostatistical ge uh, and, and geological behavior. It's got demonstrated past production uh, behavior. Um, and so uh, we're not starting from scratch. It's something that will largely benefit the project moving forward when you're at, when you're trying to do your mine design. Um, it, it can continue to grow, obviously, because we've only focused on the material that's in and around the shaft. And last year, as you know, uh, Rob, we purchased the O3 mining ground uh, that now covers, you know, a large stretch of the Cadillac Fault, over 40 kilometers or 20 some, uh, 21, 26 miles along this uh, very prolific break. So there's a lot more treasure hunting to be done. And uh, we're hoping to expand our exploration program uh, in the coming year and, and years ahead of us to keep growing the system. Um, and so, Listen, we got a, a, a project that flies economically. It's economically viable. It continues to grow. Uh, we continue to drill it. So there's a lot of new slow, uh, we believe, uh, that's going to benefit, help the share price reach new levels. Okay. Well, I, I'm assuming then there'll be uh, quite a bit of news to come here. So I guess uh, sure. we'll, we'll, we'll keep on our wire for that. So, all right. Well, Phil Colucci, I appreciate that uh, treasure hunting update there. Uh, Cardio Resources call sign ECR. We'll look forward to checking back in there when you have more clues on your treasure hunt, Phil. Appreciate it. Yeah, throughout the year and also at your at your show in Carrie uh, in in uh, early October, where I think I'll have a lot more news to deliver to your shareholders. <laughs>